Since November, I've looked at these images quite often. So why is it so difficult to communicate with feeling? Now we know the results of the first measurements on the comet, but what we do not know is what happened to feeling. So we saw also at the same time that Philia was still rotating and this could only mean that we were flying. Everywhere there were celebrations ongoing about the successful landing, but at the same time we knew that the landing could have been just a touchdown, touch and go. It looks as if the anchors have not been shot. What actually happened is that we bounced off the surface again we jumped quite far, approximately a kilometer, kilometer and a half. And what went through my head at that moment was that we have no way to verify if we're going to come back to the comet's surface or if we're flying and we're flying away. So this was a, let's say a very worrisome moment of two hours where we simply had to wait and, and let's say hope. We were very lucky that we did not jump back into deep space. Here in the Lander Control Center, we realized approximately two hours after the first touchdown that the lander landed again and was standing on the comet. So in these hours afterwards, for the operations team and the engineers, it was a very intense period because we had to evaluate all the available data and information to try and understand if we could identify where and how Philae was standing on the comet and the implications on the planned science activities. We were in a roller coaster of decision taking, modifying plans, rescheduling activities, quickly sleeping, coming back, doing the same thing again. So there was no there was no one single moment of, of, of relief, but all instruments performed uh, a measurement. The first interesting results are that comments are not as soft as people were expecting beforehand. For example, the Ptolemy team was overly excited about the successful measurement where they more than doubled the science outcome of the instrument in these last hours. So this all added to the, to the atmosphere that was here in the control room. And actually the best moment was on the Friday night when we were here with all the, the, all the scientists were still there. All the cameras were gone, so it was quite intimate. Science fiction has become science fact today. And we saw during the very last communication of Philae that the voltage was decreasing and decreasing. So we knew that, okay, we've done our job. We've made everybody happy. All the scientists are cheering. And then we finally had time to realize how could we ever land on this thing up to actually landing on it. It was a, it was a crazy year. What we did not know is where we were standing and how we were standing. But Philae is also equipped with solar panels all around the main body. The comet is every day getting closer to the sun. So every day this improves our chances to recover Philae, to wake up Philae. In June, I was at the Rosetta Science Working Team meeting to discuss the scientific results and the status of the mission. And then on the weekend immediately following, we got the first call home from Philae. 
So the message I got from this colleague was just a simple statement saying, I feel he's awake. Um, and I thought, okay, this, is, this can't be a joke because it's not something that we would make jokes about. Uh, so I called her back immediately and uh, understood that during the night we got the first contact from Philae. As I was on holiday, I did not have my phone switched on, so I had to check everything quickly then, go through my emails, see all, all the messages that were going back and forth in Europe. Philae Comet Lander has woken up after seven months in November. It was taken to the 67P Comet by the Rosetta spacecraft and then lost contact with Earth. And today it sent the first greetings which have been put on the Lander's very own Twitter page. The mission will provide understanding of how the Earth was formed and the origins of life. We established contact, but unfortunately the contact was not very reliable. So we're trying to put together the different pieces of the puzzle we have on our table to improve the contact with Philae. So what I'm hoping for at the moment is of course that we can re-establish regular and predictable contacts with Philae, longer duration contacts, so that we can restart the scientific measurements, switch on all the instruments, what I very much would like to see is a nice panorama image to show how the comet changed in all these months. Of course, we do not know precisely how many energy we will have available to do science. It could also be that we never ever hear anything from Philae anymore, but this is what we're all waiting for. Cooperation is based on people who are working together to reach the same goal. And if you wish to innovate, you have to take risks. So risk is our also daily work.